Hello. Still filtering in a couple people to show up. Some guys here though, so that's cool. How's everybody doing tonight? Tonight we are finishing Suwako's Patcheris. We are going to do the thing. The deed will be done. Not a lot of news over the weekend. I've actually gotten to work on things. How about that? Okay, so we are continuing on, I think, stage 30. Yeah, because that goes up to 30. 35, 40, 45, 50. Yeah, so that'll be 30. So we need to get the secret exit in 30. Oh, thank you, some guy. I will keep that handy. Uh, final extra stages. Okay, and you start with the 30 secret exit. I just got here, and my brain's like, man, I'm going to be glad when I don't have to play puzzle games anymore. <laughs> okay, so, um, I think the first half is going to be the same. I'm... Not sure where the secret exit is. Hold up, I'm going to check your video, some guy, just to see where the exit is. It's down there? What the heck? Okay, how the heck am I getting to that? Okay, well, it's too late for me to, like, be so hot. Dang it. Dang it. Dang it. There we go. Okay, that plan doesn't work. Oh, I should put that single block there. Okay, so that'll take care of that. Hey there, Neon Mirror. Mm, no, this won't actually help me at all.
but I can do that. And then I need... That was rough. So I still have to hit that red switch. Okay, that'll get her over to hit that red switch. You should go over and get the key. How do you do this on this time limit? Okay, that'll give me access to the bomb. Ah, oh, heck. I'm not even sure how to do this normally, much less fast enough to get this whole thing done. Okay, so we can get you over there easy enough. That'll take care of that. Okay, that's good over there. Um, that'll be good enough here. That didn't need to go there. So that'll get them over there. So I'm going to need to build a bridge of some form. Dang it. Stupid fairies. Even going that route, like... This is still rough.
Okay, now I gotta figure out what the heck to do with some of these. We can free you. Kill you. I need line blocks is what I need. I don't need you idiots. Need these blocks. Get out of here. Um, what do I do now? Okay, that gets you down there. I need bombs. I need bombs. I need bombs. Single. Oh my goodness. Okay, well, I get a bomb, so I'll just do this. Don't. No! I'm not even sure what my plan is from here. Like, I got it over there. I feel like I'm just not using blocks efficiently, and I still have to wait on 500 bombs to get the right Suwako out. And, like, even if I do that, the the things at TNT aren't going to fall down right. Okay, that'll get her going that way. Don't need TNT. I need line blocks. I don't want this. What do I want? I want a bomb is what I want. No, I don't want this. I want a line block, and then I want a bomb, and then I want to squish you before you become problems. No. No, no. There. I'm an idiot. Felt like we were going so well, too.
Thus is the price we play we pay for hubris. Okay, hurry along. Okay, I need to figure out the best place to dump these little single ones. Because what I need is line blocks. And a bomb. Don't know what to do with you. Heck! Oh, I still have that block in the way over there, though. Okay, well, we can do this. Okay, so there's that. Um, they just go off the planet, don't they? Yeah, so I've actually got to hurry. No. Well, this kind of worked out. You never get it on purpose. You always get it when you're not thinking ahead at all. Just like... Hold on, let me just keep trying whatever works in the moment and pray. It's like you see the end open up and I'm like... Oh. Um, hilarious. What am I doing? What am I doing? Okay, so this dude up here seems to just be here for me to be able to break blocks I don't want. Um, otherwise, it seems like the strategy is going to be containing the fairies. shouldn't be hard. And then just building a path up. Yeah, so how best to capture all of them? Just... Oh yeah, you can totally just do this. And they're not even a concern anymore. Okay, what am I looking at? Okay, that'll get them going up that way. It seems like the hardest part here is going to be waiting for all of them to get the heck out of your way. I 
I would really like all of you to get out of the way. They will never get out of the way. This is the whole stage. Okay, well, let's uh, plan B. Plan B isn't going to work. I didn't realize just how in the way all of them were going to be. I didn't want to put that there. Yeah. What if I do something like trap them all together? And then construct a thing. And then I can just take my time. Okay, they can't get too much higher in that direction before... So I need bombs next is what I need. Yeah, there we go. Um... Let's go ahead and free the lot of them. And then I'll see how quickly I can scoot all of them to the left. That'll get some of them there. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't want this. Can I have a bomb, please? But even after all of that, like, there's the timer, and I've still got to get the other ones up. Okay. Um...
So many of them. Like, I was, I'm thinking. Like, I lock them in on the left, and then I build a flat platform here, and have them climb up on top of that. But that's still not enough space to get all of them up there. Like, they're all just gonna wait down there forever. And I can't really build while they're down there. Like, I don't know how to get more of them over. Yeah, they're all just crammed in there so tight, and there's no way I can get them above the spikes from here. Or even if I built a path underneath the spikes, and then built like a flat platform over here. Hmm. Maybe. Maybe. Because I can move blocks through spikes. Okay, off we go. That's what I want. Okay then, next step is... Don't want that piece. I actually want a bomb. No! Dang it. Well, this is proof of concept. Don't want that either. I want something I can block them in with. Everybody up! Oh no, I raised down too low. I went down too low. Oh no, oh no, oh no, 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 Perfect.
Okay, so what I want now is bombs. Because I need a bomb there. And I need to free them from their cage. But how do you do this that fast? How do you do this faster? And I don't know if that um I don't know if that one that would eventually grab the key. No, I think the Suwakos pass through the one that has the key. So it would just walk over and open the door. So we, we have to do this, like, way faster, though. Okay, um, a little early, but I'm going to break out the cheats to slow the game down. Um, this will just give me a little more time to act and maybe think on my feet. Like, if I need to build a bridge in front of them as we go, I can. Okay, so next up is this. I'm gonna go ahead and free them now, and hopefully be able to build this uh, fast enough. Yeah, plenty fast enough. Now we just have to wait for them. Okay, now we build. Okay, that is building done. Let's get rid of this because I don't need it. 
I just need bombs. That'll get all of them moving. You know, eventually. Wait, can I? Go that way. No, go the other way. Okay, that'll get you to the key. Now we just have to wait for all of them to get their butts over there. Can you do that in 51 seconds? There's so many of you. give me bombs. No, they don't. They give me other things. I hate it. What? What am I doing here? What am I doing here? What am I even going to do with this? Why are you even giving me this? Arrgh! Um, I'm not in a good place to be able to do anything about this. walk off the edge anyway. I don't like this level. Doesn't help any. They give you a friggin' single block at the start. Like, what am I supposed to do with that? Okay. Um, beautiful. The intro to this is a hundred percent luck. Like it entirely depends on what they kind of blocks they give me. Like, hey man, they give me something I can do something with? All right, we're in business. No, go up there.
Don't want to bomb, I want to build. I don't want a single block, you can't build with a single block. Hmm, that's not going to be high enough. Don't go left, you little pieces of crap. Don't do it. Oh no, they're stuck again. I can't get him out of that. I mean, at least they're moving now. Yeah, it gets us close, but not quite. We need to be lower. That won't do us either. I mean, that's something. This level is a little infuriating, if only because I have to wait so long to get a block I can use. Like, please, can I have something I can use? Okay, we did it. like to be able to free them from their prison. Please. 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 Thank you. Okay, so what are we doing? What are we doing? We're doing that. 
Yes, now give me all of these. Um... I just need enough space to get him up, and can I have a bomb, please? Okay, that should do that well enough. Oh my goodness. Don't want a single. Come on, everybody move along. Move along. Move along. Move along. Yeah, boy, the RNG on that one was... something. Okay, I hate it already. What am I even looking at? Is that switch rehittable? Or is that down forever? It looks like it's down forever. So then up top they'll wander over and hit red. That blue on the that one on the bottom will just hop into a pit. Okay. So there's not a lot you can do at the start. You could shove both of them over and hit the switch while the timer is still going down. Otherwise, you don't have much use for the bomb. Okay, so after this piece, we get a straight piece, which would build us our path over the key so we're at least safe on the bottom. Uh, let's see here, then the middle one hits red, so we would have to hurry up and hit the switch on the right. Can you hit the switch before the timer? Yes. Okay, that's fine. Um, I could use this bomb to get them to hit the red real quick. So if you wouldn't mind doing that.
I can put you there preemptively. I don't want you. And then we can do that. And then we're actually, like, safe. Uh, then it's just a matter of all of you get over there to the right. I feel like I would have been better off not placing that there. Um, because then I could have built a staircase straight up. Easy. Now it's going to be a pain. I don't want any of you going over there. So just turn around. And I don't want this either. Don't need bombs, I need these. Dang it, I needed to bomb more. Well, in the meantime, I'll put you here while I'm figuring out what to do with this. I need all of you to get out of the way and let me put this right here! Plenty of time, all right. 49 will be a thing, oh, okay. I hate it. Okay, so the spinny guys at the top are there just for you to destroy blocks. Um, they'll move left and right, I think, but they won't leave the platform. Can I squish you while you're rolling? No. So they're just there to destroy blocks. They're fine. These are all single-use buttons. And we don't want you hitting that button. Uh, 49 will be the last hard stage. 49 is the last stage. 50's a boss. And like, man, I can do bosses. So you want to make sure they don't get trapped. So you want to prevent those two on the right from going in there. Yeah, it means what do we have? Um... Oh, there's... So... So they'll fall down and hit that switch, but then the one on the left will free them. So I feel like what we may want... ...is this. Um, that way the middle one won't get trapped by red. So they'll hit blue, which will free them, who will go up and hit blue again, 
for reasons unbeknownst to me. We do not want that bottom one going in. I don't think we even want them hitting that blue, honestly. Not a lot of easy reds either, so we may not even want to hit that red. So if we don't want to hit that red, then I'll just put you there. Okay, so they hit the they hit blue, which frees them. You get the key. They go upstairs and hit that blue. Which isn't a big deal. We need to hit a green, but the only green is on top, which is behind either a green or a blue. So we have to hit... I mean, if we have to hit a lower green to free that one, then it kind of defeats the point of having to hit the top green. And we don't want to hit that green on the left, because if you do, you're trapped. Unless we hit the green on the left, and then we hit the green on top. Which is an idea. How do we get there? Maybe if I put that block directly over top of that bottom red? Then I could bomb them free onto the left. Um, we could staircase up and have one hit the green on the left, which would free green. And have somebody trapped over there. The upper left red. Why would I want to hit that red? Upper right red. I don't know why I'd want to hit red at all, honestly. Well, no, if we do hit that red, that wouldn't be so bad. Like, yeah, one would get trapped in there. So we'd have to hit another red. But that would free the one in the upper left. And that would let them move freely through the middle in the, in the middle. Which would then allow us to build up and hit that red in the upper left, which would free the right one in the upper right. All without having hit any other buttons. Um, what are we doing from there? Then we still need to free green. Do I want one to hit that green switch? I don't think that's hurting anybody right now.
Okay, both of you saunter back to the left. And hit that red. Then we can... Hit this red to free that one. So now that one's free. Technically, they're all free. What can I do with this information? No, green's not free. I need to free green. I don't have a good way to free green. I'm out of blues, so I can't hit blue to free anybody. So I have to hit... Green. Which will free green. Hit that green on the left, which will free green. Then I have to, like, bomb down to that red. Yeah, no matter what, I have to hit that red. Oh, I don't like that at all. Man, freeing green is a butt. Okay, so I like this as a general strategy to start. But I gotta think how we're hitting a green somewhere. Okay, we did it. We hit a green. Now what? Okay, that one hit the blue. That one will free itself. up there and hit that green, which will 
allow you to hit that blue. And we'll just have you work your way up to that red, I guess. Um, I'd like to do that while you're not all trapped. Nope, you're gonna be trapped. Okay. Ah, heck. Good, 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 don't go down. No! <laughs> No, we're fine. Wait, where's the how'd that one get on the this side over here? Dang it. It frees that one. Actually, with enough bombs, I can just get them all to the middle. Just give me nothing but bombs. I'm bringing all of you to the middle. Surprised they didn't let me do that. Oh heck. Um Heck. Oh, let's just put it here for now. Nope, 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 nope. Okay, no, I think we're good. Keep moving. Okay, cool beans. I kind of don't want you going over this way. Can I get you to not go over this way? I'd really prefer you didn't go over this way. Dang it. Dang it. I should have just started building my staircase. Oh, I don't think I can build that staircase. With all three of them in the middle. Dang it. With all five of them in the middle. But that was my only strategy. Well, what if... Not what I wanted to do.
What if I free this red switch now? That does not help, is what it does. It's still too overcrowded, dang it! That's it. Well, I had them all free, you just can't get them all up the middle passage. So my idea was to, like, open up that passage on the right and ha get them up that way. But that doesn't quite work. All right, you know what? I'm gonna watch some guy's video on how to do this one. Okay, what do you do? What do you do? You're actually getting one in that red, like immediately. And then you're gr oh, then you shove the green into the green. That was beautiful. That was artistic, is what that was. Oh, yeah, you still haven't freed the red. That was a thing of beauty. That was a thing of beauty. Okay, so let's set this to, like, quarter speed so I can follow along.
is I think the very first thing you did was put this down here. You don't use that. And then you use this here. To get one of them to hop off onto the red platform. Dang it. Oh, what the heck? Okay, I did that. Now what? Cram them both left. Oh, then you start building your bridge. Uh, you got rid of this at some point.
Not actually sure what to do with this block. Okay, so it looks like at this point we're doing this. To open up the middle path. Then we're letting them upstairs. How do you make such an elaborate wall? Oh, top bugger hall. Okay, hurry along. I missed my chance. Okay, then we free that. We start building up that way. And then we get them up to red. Okay, you two hurry along. Then as soon as we get up there, Now we're on not a strict time limit. Honestly, yeah, make the bridge get him to the door. Easy peasy. Away you go! I would have been a lot happier if I were able to fill that middle column of blocks the whole way up. Like, I, I, I'm I, sure you can, and it would have made me feel better. <laughs> Final boss, Wham Bam Rock again. Yep, 
to hit his nose. I don't know if I had to hit that one. Dang it. Glad that worked out for me. Hey, end of phase. You have a lot of HP, friend. I tried. Really? That doesn't hit. Really? I guess you have to hit the fist while it's up top. Good. Get a couple hits in. to hopefully finish the phase. Yeah, all right. So much health. Still nothing. Really? I mean, you got a lot of health, but this goes... Especially when you're bombing high enough to, like, hit half of these fists anyway. Three fists with that thing. Don't die if you walk into it sideways, please. <laughs> Oh, really? I thought you'd be clear of that one. Thank you. 
Do you die if you walk into a fist sideways? Kill it! Kill it! Those fists are kind of a stack of real thick pancakes. I'm hungry. Anybody hungry? All right, that's it. Oh, we got the mark in the corner. I think that means we're 100%. Yeah, 100% right there. All right, give me one second. Uh, which one's which? Let's continue. What's this one? Oh, free mode, stage editor, back, okay. This one is rewards, that's music. These are items. Yeah, I don't know if I wanna show any of these on TV. But that is 100%, what's this, options? Options. All right, that means we did it. That means we did it. Uh, you changed your name. Who changed whose name? Watching Boho Yo Yumu, YouTube killed annotations, so the Japanese text is gone. Do I still have the data for it somewhere? Um, is there something I, that can be done about it? I no longer have the data for it. I would effectively be asking Kuma to retranslate it. Um, would I be alternatively, would I consider doing another playthrough with the translation patch? Uh, not proper videos? I would maybe consider streaming. Uh, was it not Nakatalili on this? No, um, it has never been Nakatalili on Twitch. It's always been Nakate. I wanted to change it to Nakatalili. But that ended up being complicated. It was effectively like it, it erases everything, your followers, everything, if you rename that. So it's you're effectively just making a new channel if you want to rename yourself on Twitch. Um, anyway, that is... Yeah, I would consider... Um, Actually, you know what? I can have uh, I can have Vivian play through that. If there's a translation patch, I can have Vivian play through that.
Is there actually a translation patch? Okay, that is UTG completed. So that is Patcherus completed. Uh, let's see here. Head to archive, zip. Oh, that's right, there was a Boho Kyo Makyo. Two. Okay, so that is Swako's Patcherus. 1.2. We did it. Oh, well, we also have Swako Chan Cubic. That I can. I did not zip up. Oh, I think I left Cubic up because I kind of wanted to go back. It is 9.53. Do I want... nine fifty three? Do I want to get involved in Dangerous Petcholi? Or do I want to boot up Suwapion and beat it like with the other character or whatever it was that I needed to do? Let's just go back to Suwapion. This is the executable. Let's just go back to Suapion. This way, next week, we can start fresh with Dangerous Petcholi. Okay, let's see here. What all can I get rid of? I gotta clear out a whole lot of stuff here. Like, technically, we've beaten Suapion as far as it cares. Oh, found the Bahoy Komakyo patch. I will pop that up there then. Keep that up so I remember it exists. Hope I have an easy way to even find Suapion. Or not Suapion, uh, Boho Komakyo. Yom. Boho Yoyumu. Man, I just think Vivian's neat. I just like her. I try to open up Vivian for every stream. Uh, do I need a download link for Boho Yo Yo Mo? I don't know. Do I have it somewhere? Do not have it immediately on that computer, but I have it on my render mode.
Oh, yo, yo, yo. I should have it, theoretically. Assuming that works. Um, okay, I saw a cheat engine now. So let's remove the cheat engine, the cheat engine. Let's lower the volume on you some. Uh, find another link there. I will go ahead and open that up too. So I have it available. Who's talking to me? Somebody's talking to me. those two up. We got this. Then I just have to remember how to find these values. Push the any key. I did. Um, yeah, what is this? Okay, so we still have to do normal. And then we have to do, like, everything. So let's go ahead and do normal on this so we've completed everything. Um, okay, shield is... I need to get hit. Dang it. There, I did it. I got hit. Um, this number is... It's a value between... 100 and 101. Dang it! Yeah, were there two zeros after it? Okay, it's a value between 1,000 and... 1100. And now the value is between 1300 and 1400. Dang it! Is it three zeros then? Dang it! I need to, like, go look at the VOD or something. What did I do? How did I do it before? Without having to spend ten years figuring out how to do it again.
Show me UTG completion. Patras. Who's before you? Wait, where is it? Oh, it's actually at the start of um, Patras. I already have it, right? I'm like not getting hit. Shit. I forget what the buttons are. Okay, I already had it. So how did I find the value? One of these is leave. Uh, let's see, it was not 100,000. Um, was it four digits of zero? I think it was four digits of zero, so it should be... It's not gonna... I, it may be like 50,000, but it's probably like in the vicinity of 50,000. Oh, there's four zeros after it. Holy heck. Okay, now this one is 45, 46. Bam. All right, let's go beat a video game. Where are the buttons? How do you jump? I think I auto-bombed. Yeah, that was a face. I auto-bombed, so I don't actually have any bombs. So even if I have a bomb button, I don't know what it is. So this is the direct shot build, and I think I played through most of the game with this, because I'm f more fond of direct shot types. Um, but I do wonder if the... I wonder if the other one has some kind of homing. Shift to jump is a little weird. Uh, the one that just goes everywhere.
Hey, I wonder if the broadshot one has some kind of homing to it? Or if it's just, hey, you just shoot out a big spread. Like, we've seen it, but I don't remember. No points for me. So those are actually interesting... Uh, falling. Okay. Because they move a little bit before, um, falling. And when they start falling, they're actually stationary. So you can watch, and any one that's moving is not a threat. I like it when I'm safe not moving. My natural fear response is not moving. Twelve. Oh, holy heck. That's death is what that is. You just don't be down there with them. Oh, that was kind of neat. Having you go back and forth like that. I don't like the curvy lasers. I can't predict the curvy lasers. I get trapped. Like, I get indecisively trapped in that one, especially early on. Later on, it started working itself out, but I have to, like, more proactively get out of the way of things, and it works a lot better. I'm cheating hard, by the way, in case anybody is actually expecting skill. I played through on, like, very easy, and that was enough for me. But I wanted to get the clears on the other difficulties for completion's sake. Oh boy. Talking and jumping into lasers at the same time. So just so there's no transparency, I am cheating the heck out of this. Or complete transparency. Oh, gotta kill the book. I don't know if I can even hit it when it's in the air. I'm not entirely... Well, no, I think I am. It's harder to, for sure. Alright, we got it.
Man, I couldn't dodge one of you. What makes you think I can dodge two? Actually, two is easier. Glad that didn't hit me, because I looked away at just the wrong time. Oh, this is sheer chaos. Which one's the one that gives me trouble? I think it's this one. You know, as long as I keep doing this, this isn't bad. I mean, that's a lot worse on harder difficulties, though. Oh, this is sheer chaos version 2. <laughs> eventually. I almost did it. This is super creative, though. Like, holy heck. Uh, I thought I could squeeze in there. Swako so has a taller hitbox than you'd think. Heck yeah. Doing something. See, this doesn't seem so bad now. Like, oh man, I can even do this. But like, I mean, I can't do this one. I know that much. Friggin' bumper cars. You're the... Yeah, it's not bumper cars, it's the teacups. Wow, I did it. But this is also the kind of game where, like, the first couple stages actually aren't that bad. And kind of lure you into, fa into a false sense of, I can do this. And then, like, stage four and up just kicks the crap out of you. Like, it just gets exponentially harder.
This is neat. It almost feels like I'm moving through a bunch of trees. Like I'm in a forest or something. With the little red ones being the canopy up above and the blue ones on the bottom being the... Like the trunks. Trying to figure out when the best time to, like, burn her is. Okay, this is the one where they all bounce away from me. That one's not bad, but on higher difficulties, that one is horrible. Oh, this one does the friggin' this. This one does, like, the double... The double zippy. Like, it's not necessarily hard. Jump over the green as soon as you see the reds coming at you, start streaming them. Oh, I get hit by this one every time. Like, eventually it just gives me something that's real weird. Hey! Oh, I was starting to go cross-eyed. I've mentioned this before, but I like how... I like how color-coded. I get hit by this every time. You can't read this. Fairy wasn't moving backwards as fast as I thought she was. I don't know how to kill them faster. I think this is where I start dying just a lot. I mean, I know these rainbow layers, uh, lasers have always done me in. Oh, I was that close. These spells are super pretty. Like, I know they're based on the... their initial spell cards, like their canonical spell cards. So it's not like... And, like, I also know the whole point of a lot of Toho spell cards is just to look pretty. While also, like, still retaining a challenge, but looking heckin' pretty. But, like, boy, do they capsulate it here. Especially the ones that I feel like are almost supposed to have a third dimension. Like, you get a card that represents rain.
were the falling chair the falling leaves. And like that you can just do that. And it looks so pretty. I no, I don't know what I'm doing here. Can't kill anything in here, what do you think? Yeah, this is where I just start dying a lot. It's dealing with a- it's dealing- I feel like one of the hardest parts is dealing with the enemies on the weird curvy. Not curvy, but like on the weird... landscape. Like, it's just harder to read. Um, get cornered. Heck yeah. Help getting hit by this one. Oh yeah, see those blue things? That's, yep, mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. She starts firing them out faster and faster, doesn't she? No, maybe that's just higher difficulties. Whoa there, nice shooting. Wanna slow down just a little? What's going on? I'm scared. Yep, sure do hate this. Oh, there were a lot of those. No, why did you aim so far to the left? I was trying to bait your right. Can I just stay here in the middle where it's safe? I could, as it turns out. Oh, that's right, I keep forgetting you got a bomb there. Oh, I was having more luck there than I usually have. Um, I was having more luck there than I usually was having because I feel like usually I try to be super proactive in taking out those fairies so I have less to deal with. But instead I found just sitting back and like just focusing on dodging, not pushing anything. And I did pretty all right. I don't know how to do this one. I'm guessing you want to jump into the center of the middle star. But like, if you're not in position for that, then I die. What hit me? The purple one I didn't see?
Yep, we're getting to the part where I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, that wasn't even the boss. Nope. Look, I can barely jump and ha handle jumping over these wavy lasers, much less also dodging the things. Oh, this is where you do this crap. Up here. I think I kind of figured out how to bait that one. I can't quite tell how these things bounce. Because it looks like they bounce away from me, but they don't necessarily. I couldn't read those red those red ones at all. Nope. Oh, it looks like the green ones are aimed at me. Okay, that would make it easier to deal with, at least. Wait, aren't you the one that does the Master Spark? Yep. Oh, speeding up again. That speed up wasn't too bad. If not for all the, like, little orbs you had to deal with. Oh, is that the final boss? Oh, they bounce back. That's what it was getting me hit. There's a better way to handle that than what I was doing. And I almost understood what it was. What music is this? I feel like this is... this has got to be something. Yeah, Red Swalker is dangerous. Double! Yeah, this is when I just die. Candy canes!
I wonder what those are supposed to represent. I was thinking snakes, but I don't know. Oh, do they, like, always point at you or something? Hold up, I want to stand over here. What if I'm, like, up here? Oh, weird. I was thinking snakes, but snakes aren't Suwako's thing. So I don't know. How do I hit, how do I hit done? Oh, there's an end. Oh, crash the game again. I forgot you crash the game every time you do this. Okay, so that should still give a... Yeah, we even got the mark. We did it. Okay, so we did the tutorial. No, I have to reselect the instance. There we go. Then we get hit. I need one of you to shoot at me. There we go. All right, let's go. Even very easy gets to the point where like, holy heck, the end of the game. Admittedly, this is almost insulting though. Two point oh. Got that three point oh. Point nine. I feel like this is closer to my skill level, but I still kind of feel insulted. But that'll pick up by the end of the game. 
by the end of the game, I'll still be going, how is this very easy? Four point oh. Yeah, just like stand somewhere and wait and make sure that no orbs appear on top of you. Like, if you see one stop on top of you, move. Otherwise, you don't even have to worry. I do appreciate... that this guy... Ugh. even in making a game that is known for its difficulty... And making... Making games that are known for their difficulty. And making... Being a developer that does nothing but make difficult games. That's what he does. Given all of that, I'm... Real grateful that he put in so many different difficulties so anybody of, of varying skill levels could actually play and enjoy the game. Um, you do have to play on higher difficulties in order to... play on hard, higher difficulties and do stuff like um, 1cc it, kill that book and the following very difficult bosses in order to get, like, the true ending. But that's understandable. The nice thing about this is I can chip away at the bosses even if I'm not directly underneath them. I don't know what's going on with these. I can't dodge the curvy lasers. I mean, I may do it because this is very easy mode. But oh my goodness, the curvy lasers, I can't do it. This is a little insulting. I think this is my speed, though. I'm good with this. I'm content with a game that lets me just kind of spray forward and kind of move a little bit sometimes when I need to.
Man, look at that. I killed the book legit. So I learned that I can just stand still and not get hit by that one. Still have to dodge the orbs, though. Chaos V2. I think that orange one is the most dangerous. Blue doesn't even come back here. Green just boxes you in. Such a neat attack. Now look at this, these like almost aren't even death pits. Yeah, this is starting to get a little harder. It still doesn't look too bad. But I'm starting to feel it. Oh, I got the teacups again. These aren't bad, though. There's not enough of them to be horrible. Thank you. 
I don't really know what they could do to make this easier. Like, maybe they shoot less or something, but you're still dead if you're ever on the outside of them. If you can look past the bullets on that, you can traverse that whole thing on the based on the shadows, which I think is kind of neat. a safe spot, if they all bounce away from you. throws me off. I don't think this is that much easier than normal. side again. I love the idea that there are enemies actively trying to kill you, sometimes of which can act be genuinely difficult, before the level name even shows up. So, like, there are levels where you can just die before you even see the level name. And that's, like, the worst, but also amazing. Oh man, just have entirely different enemies in this section.
Okay, so these are the ones that don't necessarily bounce away from me. They just go in a direction, and I have to dodge. And there's not many of them, but I'm still probably going to get hit by it. trick there is stand in the middle and don't be on a difficulty where that doesn't work. Kill you! And I don't even see those top ones coming at me until, like, they're coming at me. What spell card did you have left? This is either your last or your next to last. Zero is an attack. Mm-hmm. 
There's less crap going on, but I still can't read those to save my life. These stars are still hard. I think these stars may be one of the first ones that I say heck with it, I'm just gonna kill you. Yeah, I don't feel like this is... I think the speed of these is what is a lot of the problem. Well, no. Normal mode had a whole other, like... set of bullets coming the other side that hecked me up. Yeah, this is the one where I can't read the, uh, the red orbs. So I have, like, no idea what's going on. I got real lucky on that one. I like weaved through some of the real fast bullets without even paying attention. And I wanted to bait it, but that doesn't work. There we go. There's one or two weird little standout areas. That were like, man, that was harder than it needed to be.
But otherwise, I think very easy is about my speed for... <laughs> about my speed for this game. Still crashes. Okay, I think I got... I'm gonna take a brief break. Go grab, like, a snack, drink some water. And then I think I got one more in me. Because we've done tutorial, very easy, we'll do easy, and then we'll have done up to normal. And then there's this hot mess. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised it gave me rainbow patchy. Like, I did, I completed the requirements... Oh, there's only four addresses. I'm not even looking at the screen. I just moved around in that trying to get hit. Hit me. There we go. Okay, like I said, I'm going to take a uh, brief break, grab something to eat, drink some water. Uh, then we'll finish this difficulty, and then that will probably call the stream. So, RBR.
Oh, okay. <clears throat> we are back. Um, let me check something real quick. Ah, I can change the microphone. Testing, testing. Hey, that's something. Look at that. Talks and everything. I was, I didn't know if I was going to have to uh, restart the program. It seems like I shouldn't have to, but for some reason I was worried I would have to. in the stage, and I just stood there for a minute. I may... I probably won't hit full power. Nope. I jumped right onto that bullet. Like, I landed right on it. Fairies passing over top. Shooting things down. Do these fairies still not attack? Glad none of that last wave actually came at me. I had to scratch my nose. See, I think for the most part, I can kind of wrap my head around the main mechanic. What's going on in areas and in boss fights? But when they make when they make it harder by giving you the main mechanic and then like just a bunch of random crap everywhere, 
that's when I can't quite handle it, and my brain just kind of hopes that I don't get hit by the random crap. Oh, come on. I swear I didn't move that far forward. It's okay, nobody can read the curvy lasers. That was my own fault. I feel like I'm overshooting things, though. I wonder if I'm just, like, judging distance bad, or... If it's, if, if it's occasionally, like, not letting off my button when I think I am. Yeah, this is the one that I just kind of pray that I don't get hit by. Because where are these yellow ones going? Man, I got no idea. Glad I took that break. I'm a little more awake now. It is getting late regardless, so it's probably a good idea that I wrap up anyway. And I don't know what it is. Um, I think it's just the hyper-focusing in this game. For whatever reason, puts me to sleep. It's not that I'm, like, bored. Almost did it. Yeah, like, it's not that I'm, like, bored or disinterested or anything. Like... I'll about fall asleep driving home from work. The last place that you want to fall asleep, but my brain is just like, now's a good time, right? I'm just there like, no, no, it's not, please. I want to say it's when I'm, like, focusing on something a lot, but mo physically moving very little is when my brain starts saying, Oh, we can take a break, right? Good break time. Oh, man. It's not always when I'm driving. And I've come up with some tricks to help me out, so I don't... I walk into that. And I've come up with some tricks to help me out. And sometimes I wonder, like, oh, it would be interesting to be, like, a like a truck driver or something. Just drive a semi around, take it places. Like, I think that'd be kind of neat. That'd be kind of interesting. And then I remember, like, 
that sometimes I have trouble staying awake. Especially on longer drives. Shorter drives don't give me any problem. Most, most of the time drives don't give me a problem. But like, longer drives oftentimes do. And that's when I go, yeah, no, I cannot in good faith try to drive a truck. What are you guys not even attacking for? You did more on very easy, what the heck? I just got so I just got disoriented. I don't know what you'd call it. Vertigo or something? It was like between the moving bullets and the stationary checkerboard pattern and the 3D landscape moving underneath the checkerboard pattern. Ooh. I don't know I mean I guess motion sick would probably be the closest thing to say, but I wasn't like it was just, um, it was just momentary. Okay, so on very easy, this was pretty easy to deal with. Looks like it's still gonna be pretty easy on normal easy. I think I I think on normal I did this without getting hit, and I think normal is probably the extent of my ability to handle this particular spell card. I think the fairies shoot more in that, but, like, that doesn't really affect the difficulty of that pattern. gone to the corner. It is kind of funny, it's kind of interesting as well, just how gradually the difficulty cranks up on the different settings. 
There's never really anything overt. It's just the very slightest things. I don't feel like this spell card ever, like, actually changes. I'm gonna have to look at this spell card on, like, Lunatic or something. Because I cannot tell a difference between very easy, easy, and normal. Stationary bolt. Okay, now they start the twirlies. And the twirlies are the part that I cannot do. This isn't bad. I think normal may be where the twirly where I draw the line on the twirlies. Big blue sphere fairies are shockingly difficult to hit. Shadow, learn to dodge. This one is kind of hard, though. He's like, they could land anywhere. They could land right next to you, and you don't know where they're going. Ah, they're shooting the red ones now. Thought I was just had I was back here just worrying about dodging the blue. Killing these is so hard. Okay, yeah, this is rough. This is rough.
Please die. At least so, so far, I'm still feeling like I could beat normal. Or not normal, I'm still feeling like I could beat easy. Legit. Like, you get it, I, I, I get hit a lot, but that's what the shield is for. Like, that's not a life loss. Spell card. I'm a lot of bombs now. was that? Can't read that. Usually those purples don't even try to come at me, and that one just, like, aimed right for my head. I think especially with some practice. Like, maybe I couldn't beat it first try, but I could beat easy eventually. I don't know about normal. Maybe with enough practice? I can't read these lasers at all. Also, I hate these stars. Also, I have... Eyelash on that. I hate these stars. I cannot do these stars. Like, they're way bigger than they have any right to be. Not sure how I didn't get hit by that, but I'll take it. I 
I have trouble with that one. I don't think this one has changed from very easy. Or maybe the orbs just aren't lining up quite as well with the lasers. Maybe that's it. I can't do this one. On any difficulty, I cannot do this one. I'm not sure how to dodge that one. I thought I had had her down originally. Oh yeah, get that point blank. Look, I have trouble enough with this one already. I don't need your random crap in the way too. Sounds pretty easy. Ooh, we're going faster now. Yeah, I was a little trapped. Baited in the wrong direction. Yeah, this one is mostly me just praying I don't get hit by the orbs. But we did it. Probably going to crash the game. Sure did. Anyway, that'll do it. So next week... Uh, next week we're going to hop into Dangerous Petroli with Suwako. 
If I remember, I'll try to do the rest of those on my own time, but it may also just be as a nice break for, like, I got time and I don't want to get involved in something. So... Whatever. Until next week, uh, Dangerous Patchouli with Suwako. That's going to be fun. Got a score to settle.